O oh Lord, O oh Lord, until then. Until then. Just one more time. Thy vows, thy vows are over me. Are over me. O oh Lord, O oh Lord, until then. Until then. But the more I don't know about the confession of your faith and as a minister of the gospel, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Glory. what they do welcome to crime time news where the difference is in the meds call it news with a buzz now i know that you're looking at this video and you're perplexed you're wondering why is this blogger showing me a video of somebody that is baptizing giving his life to christ don't you know the type of stuff that we like that moves us, get our little teal stiff, get our little clit wet up? We want to hear, oh, dung in a O for short, O a do O, O K I L L O, O got M U R D E R E D. But people, the truth and the fact is that sometimes we have to expand our horizon, sometimes we have to diversify our portfolio and listen to other very interesting stories. So the individual that you see in that little tub, that little bar there, his name is Fireblocks. Fireblocks is a prominent dancehall selector. He is based in Canada, but he does travel to other places wherever he is booked. It is said that, well, it is confirmed that he had the big A, A-I-D-S. And based on information that has been circulating all over social media, is that he was running in the dance hall, running through a lot of women because he knows that in the dance hall space a whole bunch of losers. Not going to say that everybody is. However, a lot of them are there. It is predominantly losers. So this man was said to have had SEX with a whole bunch of people. However, one of his partners came to the house and it seems as if she was some sort of investigator. She wanted to know if what she heard was true. And when she searched his medicine cabinet, she found a bottle. This is the bottle right here. It is actually some sort of medication for that problem. It is said that he was on the run. He was wanted by the popo. He got MIA, meaning missing in action. However, people, somebody sent me this video and they must say, best blogger out there in a Jamaica. The most stylish blogger out there in a Jamaica. You know, see where I go on. A fire blocks this. Him get baptized, him turn Christian. So people, I am going to let you listen to the words of fire blocks himself, explaining what he went through and why he made such a transition in his life. From being a heathen to a man of the cloth or a Christian, they call it. Take a listen, take a look at this beautiful bean footage, and then I'll give my peace. Well, the people tell me about my head. Listen, for anybody here where no plan to make this move with me and me right now, mm -hmm. nobody like that because street number try to do set from December to January. Okay. Three time, I got to let my powers in a Jesus Christ near me as soon as I get this moment. But I'm sorry now, I'm sorry now, I know it may have been a perfect man tomorrow. But I hear from God step by step. Come on, come on now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm talking to each and every person that motivates me and tells me that God is God Amen. and God is love. Amen. And who God bless no man. No man hurts! Come on! The Lord is a light of our salvation, who shall we be afraid? The Lord is the strength of our life, of whom shall we be afraid? No man that found me is a strength of our Now, people, I was told a couple of things. Don't you ever speak bad ill about the D-E-A-D -E and also people of Christ. Men I want to walk 
and get lit down by lightning, brimstone and fire. Or my foot them swell up, or my head get swell up. Well, that is Obia, sorry. Wrong type of religion. Now, people, truth be told, if somebody legitimately turns over their life to Christ and seek a more positive lifestyle than the one in which they were living, hedonous lifestyle, in which this man was pretty much running through the dance hall, running through a whole bunch of women. Hence, and I'm not going to say that is why he called AIDS. However, when you just run through a whole bunch of losers, you stand a greater chance, call it the law of possibility and probability. So therefore, him never reached this point until he reached to that point, meaning that him catch the big A and him agree to people knowing that he had it Knowing that he was certified, not only HIV, but AIDS and people, I am no sorts of medical expert, but that the people them tell me. So therefore, may I go just run with that. I've had conversation with person, and of lately I was talking to somebody, a friend of mine, and he said to me, they ain't know say, the most damaged goods, they ain't the church. I'm going to say, eh, what you mean? He must say, whenever people hit rock bottom, whenever people feel like them they in a trouble, it's either they might try to trick the people or trick the law. A lot of people that are in church is not in there because them really want to do it. They might just put up face or do some sorts of damage control. Now, people, I don't know this man's state of mind or whatever, what he was thinking. But this man is now a Christian. I am speaking about a man that was once a playboy, a gigolo, those bigolo, is now serving the Lord. People, make me know in the comment section, like I say, me not know this man's state of mind. Me just a go by the video where me see, and me just a blog about it. Me just a give all possible. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Point blank and period. What is this man talking about? Well, make me make the statement, but up by facts, that the PNP is the most corrupt political organization in the Caribbean. Further on in the news, this one is called Pat Akar the Kekel Black, Two Party, same sad song, everybody I play. It is as if you are swapping black sheep or black D-O-G for black M-O-N-K-E-Y. Whichever of them you choose, it is going to be the same sorts of result. Everybody goes into politics for their own self-interest. It is not for the betterment of Jamaica, without a shadow of a doubt. Now, the people I'm in the JLP are going to say, wait, it seems as if the black guy has switched from being PNP to being JLP now because he's a defense or he's a scandal. He's a put out news against the PNP. So pretty much Andrew Holness made this speech and I just showed you the start. I am going to let you hear the rest. In which he was laying out in intricate details all of the corruption that... The PNP has been involved in for a couple of decades. So people, I am going to let you listen what he has to say and then I am going to give my piece. Go back to 1989, which is a long time ago. You would hear about the Rollins land deal scandal. If you go back to 1990, you remember the zinc scandal after Hurricane Gilbert. Then you have the Shell Weaver scandal. Then you have a big scandal in 1992 over the illegal importation of motor vehicles. Then in 1993, we hear some man buy US dollar out of the back of them car all over. Big scandal. You hear about the corrupt distribution of land in Holland. You hear about the Operation Pride scandal. Then in 1997, 
you have the Finsac scandal, and then now you have the mother of all scandal, the traffic guru scandal. You remember that? The Montego Bay street people scandal. The fat cat salary scandal. You remember NetServe? Then you have the Sandals White House scandal. Then now, after that, you come up with the Cuban light bulb scandal. You remember that? You have the Hanover Parish Council scandal. Then you have the Chick V scandal. Then you have the dead baby scandal. Then you have the bad gas scandal. Then you have now the Parish Council in a Manchester scandal. You remember Outer Many scandal. You remember EWI energy scandal? You can't cuss me when you corrupt. You already know that in bad mind, in the likes of people, prosper. And now we know that him is nothing but a hypocrite. There will always be in every government, regardless of jurisdiction, people who breach the rule, people who use their power unjustly, unfairly, and unduly. The mark of the good government is that when it is done, there is no cover up. When we face our challenges, there is no one who could criticize this government to say that we were covering up corruption. No, the Jamaica Labour Party stands firmly against corruption and we will put in place and have been putting in place the measures to address it. Now, people, whenever we hear anything, we hear the PNP exposing the JLP, vice versa. There is one thing that comes to mind. Thief definitely does not like to see thief with long bag. And this applies appropriately in this case. Now, people, truth be told, all of these parties, well, both PNP and JLP, they are contaminated, infiltrated with corruption. Because like I said, at the end of the day, when we look at politics, politician, what is their ulterior motive? Their ulterior motive is for self-enrichment, self-gratification, while F-U-C-K-I-N-G, the people, leaving the people with the bill, retire, rich, runway, go a some sorts of foreign land, them and their family. So when you hear Andrew Holness saying that the PNP is more corrupt than the JLP, why not? Nobody is going to do anything for corrupt. And he even claimed that Whenever there's any sorts of corruption, he takes it on and makes sure that it is taken care of. Whomever is violating will be held at the highest standard, held under the law. <laughs> People, isn't that funny? I am going to reference just one thing, SSL. Andrew Holness had his money in at the SSL. Andrew Holness withdraw his money. Up till this date, whether it is finance minister, security minister, DPP, the Molan Pan, one lady, Mrs. Pantan. However, the chief officers, them get interview, people talk to them, but up to this date, we know hear deadly squat, we hear say people broke up in a place, we hear all Horse dead and cow fat, all sorts of BS. However, nobody has heard anything. Even though this scandal was probably one of the biggest, the biggest tea free as it pertains to Ponzi scheme or as it pertains to investment fraud. Even our legendary sprinter, Usain Bolt, was involved. He was fleeced of a couple of million, maybe about 12, 7, 10, somewhere around there. So, Boko cash, whatever it was. We heard it got a whole bunch of highlights. Foreign press come out and I say, yes, why would they do something like this to the child of the soil, one of the most prominent person, meaning Bob Marley or Usain Bolt, at the top two that, without a shadow of a doubt. And if that person can't get any sorts of justice, what is going to happen to the average Joe or the average Jane? When we talk about a prime minister that is yet 
to reveal his assets, divulge the type of money he has and which part he gets it from. When you hear about stuff involving him and his wife with all sorts of deal in a St. Thomas all over the place, houses that he own and not being any sorts of prominent businessman or average man, average PM, how can you talk? But people like me say, politics is filled with a whole bunch of hypocrites. I can go on and on like Buju Song says, but the half has never been told, will never be told. As long as people in Jamaica have the mindsets, them listen to stuff, them reel up, 9 day talk, and then it's back to square one, back to normal. No sorts of rebel in Jamaica left. Everybody passive, everybody soft, everybody coming like sheep. No sorts of people with any sorts of balls, backbone, or intestinal fortitude. A whole bunch of weak people. What do we expect? These people are exploiters. They are doing their job. They are doing what is in their natural instincts. That is in their M.O. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself.